Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a B&B &B solar inverter. And if we tap near the screen on this one to make it light up, it shows self-testing. And we can see it's got a picture of the, the, a green light from the solar panel to the inverter. So it's detected power from the solar panels, but there's nothing going from the inverter to the grid. And uh, so when the inverter is starting up, which uh, should take a minute or two, it will stay on self-testing. It will show self-testing on the screen. But within a minute or so, that should change to uh, it being operational. The green light should come up on here between the inverter and the picture of the power lines. So there should be a green line in there. Now, what we've got going on here is this one's coming up with this, well, just sticking on self-testing. It's not getting any further than that. If your inverter is coming up, like that and uh, so after a couple of minutes it's still stuck on self-testing there may be an issue with the bnb &B inverter what i'd recommend doing is trying a reboot of the system see if that rectifies any issues it could be a simple glitch uh, a bit like a computer can get at times and a simple reboot may sort out the issue but um or it may, may it may not so We'll give it a try here. So what we do is we follow the shutdown procedure, which will be something like this. Turn off the solar supply main switch. That'll be located in the switchboard. Or the inverter AC isolator. In this case, we've got an inverter AC isolator. You may or may not have one of these. Depends on where your inverter is located. So we click that off, which is usually down. And then we turn off the PVRA DC isolator located at the inverter. You can see on the inverter now we've got a, a red alarm light, fault off, fault off warning and uh, because it's not detecting any power from the grid and then we'll turn off the PVA DCI slide and we'll wait for the inverter to go completely blank as it has straight away there nothing there at all so what we're going to do now is reboot the inverter and so we're going to throw everything back on the startup procedure is nowhere near as, as important as a shutdown procedure just as long as you turn everything on it's all good so we'll throw on the DC there PVA DC isolator and we'll throw on the inverter AC isolator here as well and we'll wait for the inverter to start up again and we'll see what happens. So the inverter goes through its little startup procedure here. And we just want it to get past that area where it was stuck before. Okay, so we've been waiting a few minutes here. And you can see that the inverter is still showing the self-testing. Okay, you can actually see here, if, I, if I've tapped through the screen a couple of times, it shows the voltage from the solar panels and it shows the voltage of the grid. So it's de definitely detecting the power from the panels. It's definitely detecting the grid there. It's just not actually producing anything. So there's definitely an issue going on here. If, if, it, if the system was actually producing any power, there'd be something on the amps from the solar panels if the sun's out and there'd be amps on this current I output, current output of the system. And as there is not, the inverter is definitely not going. So it will require some uh, some further assistance to get that sorted out. You can see it's still stuck on the self-testing screen there. So look, if you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland area, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help with an issue like this. If you're somewhere else around the world, I'd recommend you get in touch with a local solar accredited electrician to assist you further. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.